Okay, for each vector, draw the vector in Cartesian coordinate. Yeah? Uh, draw and label an angle theta to describe the direction of the vector. Uh, find the magnitude and the angle of the vector. Okay, so we have four vectors here. A, B, C, D. Okay, in uh, unit vector form, I, J. Okay, the answer is given here. So uh, let us uh, do all these questions. Okay, I have written down all the four vectors here. Uh, A, B, C, D. Yeah, vector. And uh, this is the x and y axis. Um, so now, uh, this is actually the Cartesian coordinate. Yeah, we're going to draw it out. So the first one, draw the vector in Cartesian coordinate. So uh, this, what I can say is, uh, this is the Cartesian coordinate. No more. Okay. Uh, draw out the vector A. So 4i, 7j. Uh, so what I can say is, um, one thing to, to no, uh, notice is uh, going to the right is positive, left is negative, going up is positive, going down is negative. Uh, yeah? For x-axis is uh, the, the i. Okay? You can say this is the i. And for the y-axis is the j. Alright? It's the j. So, now this one, vector A is a 4 unit uh, to the right. Uh, 4 unit, it was positive 4. Yeah? So, positive 4. 4 unit to the right. What I can draw is uh, like here. I uh, can write here, 4. Now, and then uh, 7. 7J, seven that means positive 7. Positive 7 means uh, at the top here. Ah, okay. Uh, so, it is over here. Alright. So, uh, this is the, our vector. Uh, yeah, so what I can say, this is the vector. Uh, maybe I should draw a shape, it's better. Okay, uh, this is the one. Uh, Alright, we got it. Okay, uh, so this is our vector. Uh, our vector, yeah, so label it. Label, this is our vector A. Okay. Uh, now, uh, and this one is uh, 0, start from origin. Okay, now how about uh, vector B? Okay, vector B. Okay, so our first part of question, draw the Cartesian coordinate. Um, okay, uh, okay, maybe I should, uh, I should draw it first. Uh, going right is positive, negative, up positive, negative. Yeah, draw the same for all. Okay, now uh, look at vector B. Vector B is uh, going uh, to the left, yeah, negative 2i, that means it's over here, negative 2, okay, and the middle is 0, uh, and then uh, positive 3, positive 3 is above, okay, positive 3, uh, yeah, so it's over here, ah, you see that? So our vector B is that direction, okay, that's our vector B. Ah, okay. Uh, so label it as vector B. That is B. Uh, now, uh, how about C? C, uh, positive 2i, that means it's over here. Positive 2i and then negative 3j, that means it's below. Negative 3. Uh, this negative 3 over here. Uh, so, okay. So now, um, Yes, like this. Ah, okay. This is a uh, vector C. Now, lastly, our vector D. Our vector D is a uh, negative two i. That means it's over here. Negative two, and then negative five is over here. Negative five j. Okay. So ah, uh, and then ah. So that's our vector. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, that's our vector D. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Make it not so accurate. Ah, okay. This is vector D. Remember, you must have the arrow. Huh? You must have the arrow head. Uh, arrow head then shows it is the direction. Uh, it is a vector. Okay. Now, okay, we already got the uh, a vector in Cartesian coordinate. Now, draw and label the angle theta to, 
to describe the direction of the vector. Okay, so we already draw out the vector. Okay, actually this is a uh, question one and two. Okay, so uh, angle theta. Okay, where's the angle theta? Uh, this is angle theta. Uh, this is the angle theta. For all the this theta shows the direction. Okay, we always uh, use the theta uh, adjacent to the x axis. Uh, we don't we don't refer to the y axis. We always use the angle theta adjacent to the x axis. You see that uh, the x axis as the reference axis. So now find the magnitude and angle of each vector. Okay. Uh, so I have actually this uh, part one and two. I already are done. Yeah, over here. Okay, I already draw all this lah. Okay. Uh, one and two. Now part three, find the magnitude and angle of each vector. So uh, magnitude. So we need to find what? We need to find the magnitude and the angle. That means the direction of the vector. Okay. So let's find out. Uh, question three, find the magnitude. Uh, question three. So if you look at uh, magnitude, Okay, so we want to know the magnitude, that means the length of this uh, vector. Uh, the length of this vector. So, this the length of this vector, actually this is a, a right angle triangle. All of these are right angle triangle, isn't it? Uh, all of them are right angle triangle. So, uh, to find the, the length of the vector or the magnitude of the vector, we use Pythagoras theorem. We use Pythagoras theorem. Uh, but in a simpler way, we just uh, refer to the ij vec uh, unit vector form ij. Just uh, take the uh, what the constant square square and square root. Uh, okay, to find the vec the magnitude. The magnitude, sorry, the magnitude of vector a is equal to just take this value four square and then seven square. Uh, same thing, same thing to this one. Four and seven. 4 square and 7 square. Then you Pythagoras theorem, square root, you get the magnitude of vector A. Okay? So that means I just take the 4 square plus uh, 7 square and then square root, square root, yeah? square root, uh, sorry, sorry, square root. <laughs> what a clumsy. Okay. So let's find out the value, yeah? 4 square plus 7 square and then uh, square root the answer you get answer is uh, 8 point uh, 8.06 uh, this is a uh, uh, meter okay okay this is a displacement it seems to be like a displacement yeah so the the unit just put meter okay Actually, he didn't mention anything about vector A. Is this a force or is it a displacement? Not necessarily must be meter. Uh, but we just uh, regard all of them. Yeah, we just regard all of these uh, as uh, displacement. Okay, as displacement. Uh, that's why the answer, that's why the answer all in meter. You see that? Uh, but vector not necessarily must be Vector not necessarily must be displacement. It can be force. Uh, the the unit become newton, yeah. Or it can the vector can be velocity. So the unit become meter per second. Uh, so actually we cannot assume. We cannot assume this one to be displacement. But we just refer to the answer. Refer the answer give is meter. So we regard all these vector are displacement. Okay, that's all. So. Uh, magnitude of A is this one. Okay, how about the angle? An angle theta. How to find the angle theta? How to find this angle? Ah, uh, find the angle angle of the vector. So this angle theta is just opposite over adjacent. Ah, uh, so uh, we can write like this. We can write like this. So uh, we use tangent theta. Tangent theta will be equal to you know the normally we take the y opposite divide by adjacent uh, which is uh take the y component divide by the x component ah uh, that which is uh seven divided by four okay ah uh, so uh seven divided by four oh sorry modulus try to make it positive uh remember you need to uh anti tangent okay anti tangent uh, and what do you get finally? 
Okay, what do you get finally? Okay, so the answer I get is uh, theta is equal to 60.26 uh, uh, degree. Ah, that's the direction. Okay, direction. So, uh, this angle is... Uh, you cannot leave the answer in with uh, just the angle. You need to mention also, uh, refer to the x-axis. Okay, so this angle is above the positive x-axis. Uh, you need to say this. You need to say above positive x axis. Uh, then the direction will be complete. If you did mention about above positive x axis, the answer is not complete. The direction is not complete. Okay? Uh, so that's correct. Yeah? Above positive x axis. Uh, right? Now, how about the second questions? Yeah, second question also actually all the similar, similar uh, steps. Yeah? Similar steps. So same thing again, okay, uh, look at the vector B, so use Pythagoras theorem. Uh, what I want to say is, just now the vector A, the magnitude is 8.06, that means uh, the length of this uh, vector is 8.06, because it is uh, Pythagoras theorem, you understand? This 4 square plus 7 square, square root, you get 8.06, uh, that is what it means, or we just refer to this one. We just refer to this one, 4 and 7 here, yeah, uh, square, square, square root, okay. Uh, next thing is, uh, we also refer to this one lah, uh, vector B also we refer to these two, enough, no need to refer to the diagram, uh, okay. Let's look at uh, this one, D, vector D also, we look at this one only, uh, then we can straight away Pythagoras theorem, okay. So, uh, vector B is equal to just take the negative 2 square plus uh, 3 square and then um, okay one second okay so the answer i get is uh, 3.61 3.61 uh, meter okay that's the magnitude now how about the direction so the direction is tangent theta okay always take the y divided by x uh, y divided by x, which is 3 divided by negative 2. 3 divided by negative 2. Uh, yeah, always take the y divided by x, uh, which is uh, 3, 3 divided by negative 2. Okay? 3 divided by negative 2. Remember, you must have the modulus. Uh, you must have the modulus to make it, uh, to make it uh, become positive value. Uh, we don't want to have negative value. Later, the angle become a big angle or small angle we don't want we want to have a uh we want to make it all this positive then you get a small angle huh? which is less than 90 degree okay so uh continue okay let's find out the answer remember when you find the angle theta you need to anti tangent uh, and so on yeah anti tangent so what is your angle theta okay so the answer is uh, 56 point uh, 3, 1 degree. Ah, so, this refer to the above the negative x axis. Uh, this is above, above negative x axis. Remember, you must write the direction completely. You must state is it above or below the x axis. Uh, this one is above the negative x axis. Above the negative x axis. Okay? Ah, so you have done it, yeah? Ah, so that's the answer. Alright, now, uh, is it correct? Yeah, above the negative x is correct. Okay, so the un this is the value, yeah, 3.61. Okay, so I think the rest is the same. Okay, just the same, uh, same way to do, yeah? Uh, you can try on your own, yeah, this one. Use the same method and you must mention, you must uh, find the magnitude and find the direction, theta, in this way. You must mention, is it above or below the positive x axis? Okay? Uh, do, try to do this on your own. Okay? I uh, hope you, sorry, hope you, uh, uh, this is uh, part 3 actually, yeah? Question 3. Uh, question 3. So, um, 
So um, just uh, do 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 the same thing like uh, uh, part A and B. All right. Okay. See you in the next video.